Craig gave one of these at my wedding once. We'll move on just like that. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, um, I'm Craig's older brother, Bobby. Uh, first, I would like to thank everyone for coming and sharing their special day. Um, it's a pretty easy thing to do as a best man, but I, I'm appreciative to all of you that came here for them. Uh, second, I'd like to just, I don't know, quick celebrate. My, my parents, Judy and JR, they spent their 35th wedding anniversary uh, this year. And, and I think for myself as a married man and, and also these two, they're a good example um, of how marriage should look, right? Uh, they respect each other. Uh, they give everything their all every single day. Uh, they have their ups and downs, but, but they stick through it. Um, and that's the important part. Uh, second, and this is, I learned this in the car today, so I added this to the speech, so hopefully I don't mess it up, but uh, today is a funny day. This is their 11th anniversary on the 11th day that they have been Facebook friends. So that's kind of cool, right? I mean, that's, that's something special. I don't know. So, so 11 years today on the 11th. That, I mean, that's kind of cool, right? We figured that out today in the car. That's really from Craig, not from me. But uh, anyways, uh, for those of you that don't know my family very well, we are huge, huge, huge country music fans. Um, shortly after these two started dating, um, one of my favorite country music songs came out uh, by Luke Combs, Refrigerator Door. I'm, I'm going to cry. I'm just going to. We're, we're going to get that over with. Uh, I, I'm a crier, so when I start here, uh, just let me go. Uh, but we're going to be all right. Okay? Refrigerator door. Uh, every time I hear that song, I thank God, and I don't thank God for anything other than Vanessa uh, and what she's brought to Craig's life. Uh, those of you that don't know that song, the song discusses memories. Uh, that, are, that are posted on his refrigerator door, right? Uh, and if you have ever been to my mother's house, like, this is something. That refrigerator door is something. Tony, you've been there. Aaron, yep. Those are two of my best buddies from high school. They're invited to Craig's wedding. That shows our bond. Uh, but mom's door is, is full of memories of me and Craig and Shannon from growing up. Uh, it's got... Pictures of us in our baseball uniforms when I coached Craig when he was 16. Uh, it's got pictures of us each holding a King Salmon in the outdoor news from the fishing trip we went on after I graduated high school. It's got pictures of us with our uh, first pheasant we ever shot. Those are just some examples, man. We could go on and on and on. I could, I could talk about mom's fridge for days. <laughs> Like, that thing's got 50-some pictures. It, it is days and days and memories and memories of me and Craig and Shannon. It could go on and on and on. Like, I, I, I don't need to stop, but I'm going to. Uh, but one thing that fridge always reminds me of is that me and my brother have always been close. Um, hell, we shared a room till the day I moved up to college. <laughs> I hated it, but it was good. <laughs> Um, like I said, I mean, we've been so close that some of my best high school buddies are here today, uh, and that's a pretty cool deal. And this is the part I was going to start crying at, but we, st <laughs> we started already, you see. Uh, we went through some tough times, though. Uh, we grew distant. We did. I'm not supposed to swear in front of my kids. That's right. Uh, we grew distant. Um, and there was a time when Craig was a picture on the refrigerator door. Like, that's, that's what our relationship was. And then came Vanessa. And I, I, I honestly think these tears, this emotion is my thanking you. Um, <laughs> I'm an ugly crier like the rest of my family. <laughs> you should see my wife. <laughs> yeah. um, but no, the amazing person you are, 
The coolest part about you is that you empower Craig to truly enjoy what he enjoys in life. And I think that is the most important part in, in a partner. Um, since you came into, into Craig's life, I can now take pictures to add to my refrigerator door of Henry catching the biggest walleye I've caught on that lake for years. More pheasants, more deer, more softball games, all that stuff. That stuff we didn't have until you. Um, so I hope my emotion <laughs> tells you how thankful I, I am of that. Um, so as a best man, I feel like I have to give you a bit of marriage advice. <laughs> See how we do here. It's been a bit of a struggle to this point. Um, first, make yourself a collection on your refrigerator door. Get some pictures of the happy moments you have in life. That way, you can also remember the amazing memories, but also um, when you're having tough times, you can look back on that and realize that you have good moments and there is positives to your marriage because you will always have struggles and you need to remember those positives. Um, second, continue to empower each other. To me, that is, is what you have both been great at for each other, is empowerment. Continue to do that. Don't stop now that you've done the big deal with getting married and all that. Continue to empower each other. Build off each other's strengths. Support each other's weaknesses. So with that, if everybody could raise their glass. Toast to <laughs> Craig and Vanessa. I'm Tim, Vanessa's stepfather, mother, Joe, please stand, Lisa, we are the parents of Vanessa. We'd like to thank you all for coming today to enjoy the celebration of the marriage of Vanessa and Craig. Vanessa, watching you grow up, well, let's put it this way, it was always interesting. <laughs> um, you have a need to plan everything right down to the T. At that point, I knew you would pick somebody really good. So, now let's move on to Craig. <laughs> Craig, it feels like you've been a part of the family for a long time already. It really hasn't been that long, but it feels like it. Not in a negative way, but in a good way. Okay? I would like to welcome you and Henry to the, officially to the family. Okay? <laughs> Van <laughs> Vanessa and Craig, it's worth keeping in mind that neither of you will ever be perfect, but together you can be a perfect couple. Okay? It is said that when children find true love, parents find true joy. I think Vanessa knows that'll hit home with mom. Here's to your joy and ours. We love you both. Right. Hello, everybody. We finally made it. Don't jinx me. <laughs> so for those of you that know me, you're welcome. For those of you that don't, I'm sorry. You probably will by the end of the night. Um, but I'm Kari, and I'm Nessa's maid of honor. Mafia! Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I can't do it. I can't read. You can. Let me pry my eyeballs open. Here, I'll hold this. You keep going. Perfect. Thank you. So I can see. <laughs> So Nessa and I first met in middle school, but it wasn't until sophomore year that we became best friends, and neither of us knew it would be the beginning of such a strong friendship. Neither of us knew we would create a strong friendship with one another and be in each other's lives for everything following sophomore year. Nessa, thank you for finally not being afraid of me anymore and allowing me to stand here next to you on your big day. Vanessa and I have made countless memories over the years from wild hockey games, sitting in dead stop traffic during snowstorms in Minnesota, 
jamming out to music, failed relationships and heartbreaks, countless hours of watching Grey's Anatomy, countless hours of homework together, weddings and our friends becoming parents, girls trips, especially loopies, house parties, sorry Joanne and mom, <laughs> driving, all, <laughs> driving all the way to Denver to pick you up for your birthday surprise, and even me moving eight hours away. Here we go again. <laughs> Nessa was always there for me during my breakups and even offered to come to North Dakota to help me back up after my life turned upside down. Looking back on it, I probably should have taken you up on that offer to get you to come see me. Oh. <laughs> Nessa, you have always been my person and I am beyond grateful to have you in my life. I love that our friendship has continued to survive and grow even with me moving, ew, that's a booger. <laughs> <laughs> Even with me moving away, and we always pick up where we left off. You are so caring, loving, considerate, and just the best person a girl could have as a best friend. When Nessa and Craig met, I could tell this relationship was going to be different, and Craig was going to be the one she spent the rest of her life with. I will never forget the first day I met Craig and also got to meet his son, Henry, we not only shared our own bond, but Henry and I also greeted and accepted each other into each other's lives by farting on each other. <laughs> before leaving that evening, I jokingly told Craig he better call me to ask for permission before marrying Nessa. Little did I know I would receive a phone call from Craig <laughs> a few days before he planned on proposing. I could not believe Craig actually was calling me and asking me for permission to marry Nessa. And he even did it while I was at work and had a ride along with me. Needless to say, I got back in my car and my ride along was so concerned because I was crying. Craig, that is a memory that will stay with me forever. Craig, <laughs> you, are the, you are one of the greatest people I have ever met and I'm so happy you and Nessa found each other. I love how happy you made Nessa and how great of a friend you have become to me. I love that you have welcomed all of us that are close with Nessa in with open arms, and you have even accepted my parents in your life. I swear, you and my father have one of the funniest friendships I have ever seen. Yeah. Thank you for being the best guy, the best father to Henry, and the best person in the world for Nessa. I cannot wait to continue to grow our friendship and have fart wars with Henry. <laughs> so everybody grab your glasses. So cheers to the bride and groom on this, on this beautiful day. And to all of you that could come and make it, I wish nothing but the best for Nessa and Craig and here's to a lifetime of happiness and love. Hi everybody. Yeah. For those of you who are worried about Bobby and Kari, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> ah. What do we have until 11? I got about six sentences and we'll use it all the time. My name is Kayla. Love you. And I, <laughs> I have the absolute honor and privilege of calling this beautiful girl right here my best friend. Over the years of friendship, memories, laughs, ups and downs, I would say mine and Vanessa's friendship is truly something special. Vanessa is someone who is so kind, caring, thoughtful, and extremely intentional. She's the person you want to be around and the friend you're thankful to have. I'm so grateful to be standing here by your side today, Ness. And I'm so incredibly proud of the woman that you've become today. Though we've had whew, our fair share of crazy stories, girls trips, lip sync battles, wild nights and countless memories, we've also learned to grow up with each other. We've been by each other's side through the highs and lows of life. Graduations, college, breakups, heartaches, roommates, weddings, kids, and all of the things. We've laughed together, we've cried together, we've prayed together, and we've had our times of being too stubborn to talk to each other for periods of time. But with God centered in our friendship and being the foundation of our friendship, no matter what obstacles we've endured, we've always come out stronger. You can really say that our friendship has many characteristics of a marriage. 
Which brings me to you, Craig. <laughs> it's that enduring unconditional love and God is the foundation that is so evident in your guys' relationship. <laughs> Ness, you couldn't have found a better guy than Craig. If you guys haven't seen this man, he adores her, and it's beautiful to watch. Your love for each other is so apparent and so magical. You two have been through so much already and continue to love and grow with each other, and I'm so happy you two have found each other, and now you get your forever together. I love you both very much and wish you a lifetime of happiness and unconditional love. Oh, I made it. <sighs> all right. Now, if we could all raise our glass one last time to the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Lynch. Cheers. Um, I'm really excited to have Vanessa part of my family, and I'm super excited to have Caden as my cousin. 